Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of the show. And on this episode, I'm going to be talking about the movie Cool as Ice, starring of course Vanilla Ice. Now, if you don't know who Vanilla Ice is, I suggest you Google him because there's a lot to that story that I'm not going to take the time to get into, nor do I care. But in, in a nutshell, he was a really popular rapper in the early 90s, released a hit single, was featured in the Ninja Turtles sequel, and starred in this snooze fest. So in this movie, Vanilla Ice plays Johnny, a rapper, dancer, basically Vanilla Ice. He's really just playing himself in this movie, which features a five minute opening credit sequence, which is just composed of Vanilla Ice performing a song. So the movie really just starts off with the music video, in other words, and it really sets the tone for how bored you're gonna be through the rest of this thing. Anyways, after the show, Vanilla seems to be getting the number of Monique, but his crew keeps bugging him to hurry up. They gotta get back on the road. Where do they have to go, you ask? What is so urgent? I don't know. Um, you know, they drive throughout the night and into the morning, so, you know, you might assume that they have another show to get to, but um, I'm not so sure. So this is when Vanilla sees Kathy riding her horse and decides to impress her by doing what most males did to attract females in the 90s, by somehow jumping his bike over a fence startling the horse, causing her to fall off of it. This was the most common way to get a girl's attention back in the early 1990s. Uh, back then, that's all we had. Uh, and, I mean, if you can think of a better suggestion, I'd like to hear it. Kathy punches him in the stomach and gets back on her horse. I like how in the next shot, we can actually see her in the reflection of his glasses, sitting on the fence, waiting for them to finish up filming his reaction shots. Now you may be thinking that that interaction didn't go so well. Probably blew his chances with her. Well, you'd be wrong. See, when attracting a possible love interest, it's always key to make the worst possible first impression. Then, every subsequent interaction you have with them will always be better than the first. So when one of their bikes breaks down, they ride through this neighborhood and end up in front of this house, which is like something out of a Nickelodeon show. Anyways, the old couple who live in the house just happen to be mechanics and offer to fix the bike. So while they're figuring out how to fix the bike, everyone is just waiting, including the audience. Nothing like starting off your movie with a five minute credit sequence that leads right into another sequence in which nothing really happens. So while they're all waiting in this ridiculous house full of novelty items and poetry all over the walls, this guy makes a disgusting sandwich, the rest of them uh, just do nothing, sleep. Vanilla is just being vanilla. You'll also notice that the interior shots seem kind of smoky, like a giant fog is constantly in the air as if this was a music video. We'll get used to it because every scene is like this. I mean, just look at this. Aside from being shot like a 90s toy commercial, why is this house lit like this? Why is it so smoky? Why is it so dark? Like the only light is coming from outside. I mean, I guess, theoretically, if you don't have to set up much lighting, you can get the shot faster, but it looks like shit, in my opinion. On top of that, the whole thing is just confusing. Uh, you know, like, who's your target audience for this movie, probably kids, teenagers maybe? But yeah, young people like weird stuff, just throw a bunch of that in. So it turns out that Kathy lives right down the street, of course, and this brings us to step two of the Cool as Ice Guide to Dating. Borrow her stuff. By stealing her stuff temporarily, this will actually guarantee you at least one more interaction when you, of course, meet up to return the item that you stole, I mean borrowed. You may also recall George Costanza using this technique in an episode of Seinfeld. You stole it? Vanilla manages to take her address book. Don't really know when this happened. This is the only interaction they had since the horse incident, and he doesn't have any book here. Anyways, it turns out her father has a secret past and these two corrupt cops want to kill him. So they track him down and then proceed to just sit outside of his house. Not only that, but outside of the car. 
in plain view. You'd think two cops would know something about being inconspicuous. Vanilla and the crew go to the Sugar Shack. I guess this is the club where all the local kids hang out. And I guess to make Vanilla look extra cool and different, everybody here is dressed as a nerd. Anyways, Vanilla starts rapping and even though he's been nothing but a douchebag so far, that's really all it takes to impress Kathy, much to the dismay of her boyfriend. So then you can pretty much like guess what happens, the script just suddenly turns the boyfriend into a violent jerk. And then one morning, Kathy wakes up to Vanilla dripping water onto her lips and shoving a piece of ice in her mouth. Because I know that's how I would like to wake up. Imagine every morning somebody, somebody's dirty fingers shoving something cold and wet into your mouth. I, I can only imagine that's how the super rich begin every day. For some reason, she's not super creeped out that this guy who she's talked to a handful of times is suddenly in her bed with her. Well, at least he's fully clothed. And I mean fully clothed. He didn't even take his dirty shoes off. Anyways, this leads right into step three. Take her on a date to a place she'll never expect. Like a construction site, for example, where you can impress her with your ability to create your own entertainment. Like, um, I, don't, I don't know, whatever this is they're doing here, chasing each other around the frame of the house. Vanilla also shows her he has such little knowledge of her hobbies to the point where he doesn't even know which side of the horse is the front. However, I will say that this sequence isn't a complete waste of time because it does give us this incredible attempt at a love song. Anyways, Kathy's father tells her all about the crooked cops who want to kill them and that she can't see Vanilla anymore because he thinks he's associated with them. So Kathy, of course, tells Vanilla and he gets pissed off and just drives off for a while. Not really going anywhere in particular, just driving, sitting around, thinking. Then he drives back and lies around, looking around. Meanwhile, not much is going on. The crew is still waiting around, building a house of cards making paper airplanes, dancing, dancing in the streets, dancing in the driveway. Yep, not much going on. So Vanilla gets into Kathy's room by just opening up the window and climbing in. And like, was she just hotboxing this place? Why is there so much smoke in this house? It's in every room. Then the bad guys are able to just walk into the house and kidnap the kid. You'd think, you know, with the father being so scared about the guys waiting outside of the house, potentially harming him or his family, he might want to, I don't know, lock a door or two? Maybe a window? You know, just basic ways to keep people out. Just the bare minimum when it comes to home security. So then his crew is like, damn, Vanilla, you're really into this girl. Well, of course he is. Didn't he tell you? They spent an entire afternoon riding horses, riding bikes, lying around in the desert, spraying each other with a hose, playing a really shitty version of hide and seek. So obviously it goes without saying, they share a pretty unbreakable bond now. Hello? Anyways, the kidnappers send the family a ransom tape and Kathy knows exactly what to do. Ask Vanilla Ice to crack the case, and he does. <laughs> he recognizes the sound of the machinery in the background, as it's the same machinery in the area where they went on that date. So they go there and just drive their bikes right through the wall, which seems pretty ridiculous. I mean, what if the kid was sitting in front of that wall? What if the bad guys had guns? Which I'm pretty sure they do, but I guess bullets are no match for Vanilla and his crew. And that's honestly pretty much it. I really wish there was more to this movie, but there isn't. Uh, well, there is one more thing, another performance which lasts three or four minutes. Now I know this is a pretty short video and you know, I'm sorry, I apologize. I, w I wish there was more to cover, but the story is really as bare bones as they come. 
and I feel like I've pretty much covered everything I needed to. I mean, I can try and look for other things to talk about. Uh, the movie cost six million to make. It only made back 1.2 million. Uh, Vanilla Ice won a Razzie for Worst New Star. Now, as for my next video, uh, I'm actually not sure what it's going to be because you all get to decide what it is. If you go over to my Instagram story, there will be a poll up and you'll get to vote for which video you guys get to see next. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.